Hey guys, so for today's video, I have my Ride or Die drugstore products tutorial tag. So recently, you know, the Ride or Die tag is like going around, Jaclyn Hill created it, and I did my regular like Ride or Die tag um, makeup tutorial that included both high end and drugstore, just my top, top, top ride or die products like my number one go-to's and a lot of you recommended me to do the ride or die tag but drugstore version so what's like my ride or die number one favorite drugstore products for each step so that's what i did today so thank you guys so much for requesting that because that's an awesome idea so for this look i didn't want to do like a typical amy look because i did like the og typical ride or die amy look in my original ride or die tag so i didn't want to be like super repetitive so i figured i'm going to use my ride or die products but i'm still going to create something a little bit fun so i ended up doing this kind of burgundy fuchsia eye with this burgundy lip so i hope you guys enjoyed it i to be honest really freestyled it like i didn't even know what i was going to do today I was just playing around and this is kind of what happened so hopefully you guys do enjoy it so if you are interested in checking out my ride or die drugstore makeup products and seeing how I used them to create this look then keep on watching so let's get started with primer of course so I have two different ones that I love I love the Nivea men aftershave balm it gives you a nice sticky base so for someone like me who has oily skin I enjoy the fact that my foundation kind of just adheres to it this is the elf mineral infused primer and I also love this one it's so good it's kind of just a silicone based primer but it's really nice and super smooth but not too greasy feeling and it's a little bit of a thicker consistency so I feel like it kind of holds up in my oily skin and I just like the mixture of these two. So Ride or Die Drugstore Foundation definitely has to be the L'Oreal Pro Matte. This is the shade 106 and I love this foundation. It's nice and full coverage. It lasts all day. It's that matte kind of um, powdered finish. I really like it. And I do love to blend it out with a beauty blender of course. Ride or Die Concealer. Oh my god, I love this drugstore concealer and I'm so upset because every time I go to the drugstore to buy a new one because I'm running so low on these, the packaging is always open and like people have always touched it and it's always dirty so I can never find like a newly packaged fresh tube of this in the drugstore because I feel like it's so popular everyone loves it. So these are the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I love these so much. I have mine in the shade 20 and 15. I love the shade 20 because it's nice and yellow but it is a tad bit like too close to my skin tone. By the way, I'm like scraping the bottle right now like I'm letting you guys know right now. I'm literally scraping the tube so I can try and use this today. I haven't used this in forever because I just... I'm running so low and I can't find it at the drugstore, like a new package one. So I will mix in 15 with it just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm obsessed with the formula. It's so blendable. Like, it just blends so easy. It's nice and liquidy, so it feels really nice and hydrating. It is medium to full coverage. If you kind of layer it on, you could get a full coverage. It just looks so natural and healthy, you know? It doesn't look like cakey or dry. Ride or Die Drugstore Powder is definitely the NYX HD Finishing Powder. I'm so obsessed with this. I use this all the time. Like literally, it's a part of pretty much almost my everyday kind of makeup routine. I love that it's pressed so it's not messy. I also have here that I want to share with you guys. I love the NYC Smooth Skin. Um, powder. I think it's probably the best loose powder in the drugstore I've ever tried. Very comparable to higher end ones. I love this, but just realistically, I more grab for this one just because it's less messy. This one's nice because it doesn't give me like a white cast. It doesn't make me um, lighter than I actually am because I hate when foundations, or sorry, when powders do that. I'm just going to powder this on with a dense brush and I love that it makes my makeup last pretty long especially if I use this dense brush it also looks so finely milled like it's so smooth on the skin like you look airbrushed when it's on so contouring and highlighting I feel like you guys already know what I'm gonna say you know that I'm obsessed with the wet and wild contouring palettes I live for these I use them all the time even more than my higher end contouring products I love the, sa the shade uh, Caramel Toffee because I live for this bright kind of yellow shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my brush and apply this underneath the eye. The formula of these powders are so creamy. It's so pigmented. 
it looks flawless i mean you wouldn't even guess that these are five bucks like if i was using this product and i had no idea what brand it was how much it was nothing i would think it's like at sephora 40 50 bucks i'm telling you it's amazing so i like the shade dulce de leche for the contouring shade i do wish they would kind of just like combine these and make like a little palette because i love both of these for the highlighting shade and then the contouring shade so i always have to like use both of them but I love this contour shade. It's a nice like neutral camel tan shade, which I love that for contouring. I don't really like, you know, the typical cool tone contour that's too cool because it looks kind of muddy and ashy on my skin tone. I almost just forgot to bronze and I was just going to contour without bronzing first. Not good. So my favorite bronzer, you guys already know, I actually mentioned this in my ride or die regular tag um because i love the higher end version of this as well so this is the nyc sunny bronzer i'm obsessed with this it's so good they actually just came out with like a reformulated one so this one's much more um creamy the other one was more of a dry formula which i kind of liked the dry formula i still own that one i kind of like the drier formula but like they still same color you know still really good quality i love this it's like a beautiful nice warm tan shade and it just looks so natural like i feel like this is a go-to for me like i never have to second guess when it comes to this product i know it's just always gonna work now we're back to the contouring palette and i'm just gonna use that beautiful tan shade to contour so i want to share with you guys a blush that i really love when it comes to blush i feel like i don't have that one blush that's like my favorite i kind of just bounce around to different blushes you know i'm not like a blush junky in the way where like i feel like i need this one blush but i do really love this shade it stood out to me when i was trying to think of what blush i really love so this is the nyx let me show you guys the packaging this is the nyx hd blush in the shade amber i love this shade it's a beautiful mauve but it has this kind of peachy warm ambery kind of tone to it the name is amber but i love it so much it's really beautiful and the formula is really good it looks super smooth on the skin um, it's pigmented, it's nice and creamy, and it's just a great formula. All right, so we're on to highlighter. I feel like everyone is dying to know what I'm gonna name my favorite Holy Grail Ride or Die highlighter. But, I mean, it was this was kind of easy for me, I gotta say, because I love this highlight. I rave about it all the time, and I just love it so much. It's so bomb. This is the Milani Tantastic Baked Bronzer, but it's a highlight, in the shade 01 Fantastic in Gold. Let me tell you why I love this product, why you need it, why everyone needs it. I'm not going to say that this works for every single skin tone out there, but I feel like this is awesome because of the marbled effect. I feel like different skin tones could really get away with using this. So if you're super duper pale, like very, very pale, you would just kind of stick into the white region here. If you are like me and you have medium skin, I I like to kind of let me grab my highlight brush so I can show you guys I like to kind of dabble in right here so I'm getting a little bit of white a little bit of bronze but if you are deeper skin tone than I am if you just stick right in this region over here and you don't go near the white you take this bronzy shade it'll give you the most gorgeous bronzy golden highlight let me tell you guys the formula of this some people might love it some people might hate it I'm obsessed with it I love this because it gives you the most, like, do you guys see that? Intense, wet, glossy highlight. But I will say, like, I'm just going to warn you guys right now, there is a tad bit of, like, shimmer in it. Just a tad bit. Like, I feel like if you're super picky about that, you might not like this. But it's not shimmer in the way we're like on my face right now. You could even zoom in super close and you don't see chunks of glitter at all. It's this like seamless, beautiful amount. You know what I mean? It doesn't look bad at all. But I just felt the need to kind of share that because I know some people are like very picky about that, right? So here's how it looks on the skin. It's so beautiful. I feel like I kind of applied it a tiny bit too low and it mixed in with my blush. So it's looking a little pink. So just ignore that. That was kind of like my hair. So now we're moving on to the brows and I love this brow pencil, but I will be honest with you guys, like when it comes to ride or die products for the brows, like I, I love my Anastasia dip brow. Like I just love that product. So I'm not going to say that like I use this pencil all the time and it's like as equally as ride or die as these other products I've mentioned. But when it comes down to it, if I have to choose a drugstore brow product to recommend, definitely it's this guy. I really do love this and I actually do use this a lot on um, no makeup makeup days because it gives me more of a natural brow, but I'm gonna try to go a little bit heavier handed today because I like a, 
a heavy brow on filming days. But this is the Maybelline Brow Satin. It's creamy, it's blendable, it's not too pigmented. It just, it's it's flawless. I use it all the time on kind of like natural days. I love this one. The only thing I wish is that it came with a spoolie on the end, but nonetheless, I still really love this. And you guys already know that my holy grail brow gel is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus. It just gives my brows that extra little bit of a tint and it helps hold them in place. Moving on to the eyes, I am of course going to prime my eyes and I love this primer. It's so good. This is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer, the Photo Focus one. It's so good. It makes your eyeshadow last forever. Like I'm telling you, it would probably last days if you really wanted it to. What's really great about this is it provides you a little bit of coverage to cover any redness or veins. I am, of course, just going to set that using the highlighting shade in the contour palettes that I showed you guys, the Went Wild ones. So Ride or Die Drugstore Palette, this one is a no-brainer for me. I love it so much. This is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Palette. It's so bomb, guys. Like. The formula, you guys have heard me rave about this for so long now. The formula is amazing. It's so creamy, so pigmented, blends beautifully. I am going to go ahead and take this beautiful kind of camel shade right there. And that's just going to work as my transition. And I am going to bring it from inner to outer corner because I think I'm going to do like a little bit of a halo ad today so next i'm going to take this gorgeous warm brown shade and i'm just going to pop that into the crease again doing inner to outer corner switching over to a different brush i'm just going to go ahead and apply this on the outer part of the lid and then also along the inner part of the lid and we're going to leave an empty space in the center and then you want to just go ahead and connect it in the crease. I'm going to go ahead and take this beautiful kind of red toned brown burgundy and a bit more of a tapered brush. And I'm just going to essentially do the same thing I did with the other, the other shade. So for the lid, I wanted to share with you guys some eyeshadows that I love from the drugstore, some shimmery ones. So these are pressed pigments and they're by L'Oreal. I'm obsessed with these. I have a bunch of shades from them because I kind of almost collect them. That's how much I love these. They are so bomb. I don't know what color I'm gonna use for today. Maybe this one, something kind of different. You know, it's like a beautiful fuchsia cranberry. So I'm gonna take the shade Glistening Gar Garnet, Garnet, Garnet? Yeah, Garnet, I don't know. And I did also wet my brush, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dab into that. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on that beautiful camel shade, and then I am going to take that red warm brown shade. So for the inner corner, I'm actually gonna try something a little kind of out there. I'm gonna try popping on this pink shade right in the inner corner. This is in the shade Forever Pink. It's a beautiful kind of rosy gold shade. So now I'm gonna pop on some mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational in the L'Oreal Carbon Black Telescopic. You guys know this is like my combo. I love the Maybelline one for the top lash and then the L'Oreal one for the bottom lashes. They're just bomb.com. I've talked about them so much to you guys. So I almost forgot to talk about liner for you guys. I'm not gonna do a wing today, but I am gonna do a line. I'm gonna take the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this. It's so matte, it's so pigmented. I love the brush wand. It's super small, so it allows you to get to really precise. I really like it. So for falsies, I don't really have a pair of favorite drugstore falsies, but I do really love these affordable ones. These are the Coco Lashes. So I figured I would recommend them to you guys because they're super affordable. I think they're like $6. I love a bunch of different ones. I can't really choose my favorite Coco Lashes style, but right now I've been loving Diva. It's super wispy on the top and then thick on the bottom. So I just love the effect that it gives. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those on. So when it comes to tight lining, I have super watery eyes. So I have yet to find like that favorite holy grail eyeliner that I swear by that lasts forever on me but I do have a couple that I kind of switch between and I do really like and they're pretty good in terms of like lasting on me um so I really love this one this is the Rimmel Scandalize waterproof liner this one is super pigmented it glides right on really smooth and it lasts a good amount of time on me so now for the lips you guys know I swear by liquid lipsticks so my favorite liquid lipstick from the drugstore is definitely the NYX um, lip lingeries. I'm obsessed with these. They're really, really good. There are a couple shades that are a little bit less pigmented, but if you just kind of do thin layers, 
they're awesome and they last really good and they're super comfortable on the lips but I do feel like doing a red lip for today so I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of the Milani Amour matte lip creams I still do really like these these are, these are actually really great you just have to mix in a little bit of chapstick so they're not too too dry so that is it that completes the drugstore ride or die makeup tutorial tag I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the look I freestyled it I to be honest just kind of made it up as I went along so as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll of course see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.